Good morning. 1 5 2012. Fiscal cliff. Big pop on the Dow. Now, let's remember that the Dow hasn't performed as well as the S&P 500. These were the reversals. These were the weekly bottoms. We've come back up. Now, let me show everyone something. All of this was based on the fiscal cliff as we are updating our worldwide network of people. And one of the things that we told you with the fiscal cliff is that upside volatility, just as the downside volatility to support, this was their little hurrah. But the debt ceiling is coming in February. Does the United States government get shut down because of the debt ceiling? The Republicans are not going to be happy. We're going into a major earnings season. There's lots of headwinds, and we're up here at the highs at the resistance levels, where resistance levels are going to play a major role. This area of the Dow is where we went straight down for several weeks. Then we had the government, and we had to make a deal. And you got that upside move that we talked about. We said the Dow could go up 500 points or could go down 1,000 points. It was dependent on what the government was going to do. If they wouldn't have made a deal with the taxes and we were still going through it, well, then we wouldn't be having a big green bar. It would be a big fat red bar. And they knew it. That's why they waited to the 11th hour. They even went over the deadline of December 31 and came out, and this creates the market volatility. Yeah, you can say it looks bullish because it's above the 20-week and the 10-week, but the major wall of resistance will play a role. Forward-looking in February and March, we're going to go through this thing about our budget called the United States budget. We're at 16 trillion plus. If we go up to 18 trillion, it only took from 13 trillion to 16 trillion, only took 17 months to get up to the 16 trillion area. Now we could hit 18 to 20 trillion if we don't control Obama. And there's going to be some nasty negotiations. It's going to be, look at the tax thing and the fiscal cliff thing. That was, that was still volatility, but it doesn't have nearly the impact as this debt ceiling forward looking. And we're going into the major wall of resistance into the earnings. I'm going to draw another trend line on the Dow for everyone. And I'm going to draw it right here. That's the upper end. The top end, like I said, is right here. When I go back multi years, back to the 2008, 2007, we're right up here. That was the five and a half year high reversal of the calendar 2012 rally. Then once it did reverse, it's kind of underperformed some of the other indexes. They're going to have quarterly earnings that hit the tape starting this week, coming week and the week after. And there's going to be lots of volatility that's going to come into the marketplace. Beware that we said that any of those resolutions was to sell into the rallies. You got the upside weekly movement from that volatility from the government, but you're not going to get it on that next round. Instead of it being a red bar, it's a green bar because they did what they did, and that's across the board and all of them. Basically, the Dow has got that resistance right up, and that's five and a half year high. So as we go up, it's going to be more challenging, and we're going to see where that wall of resistance holds. I will be updating everyone. Major catalyst is this. Earnings season is starting. Then they have about the third week of January. They're going to get into these talks. It's not going to be favorable. It's going to go back and forth. It's going to create more volatility. It's going to create the media talking. But let me just tell everyone, whatever of the good quality stocks that get hammered, we will be buyers on those stocks because leadership stocks will adjust. Any great drops in leadership stocks, we're going to be purchasing. And we've already updated the S&P 500, which is right here. Okay, relative to the Dow, and the S&P 500 right now is outperforming the Dow. But everything is hitting that wall of resistance, going into five and a half year highs. You better be careful for what's coming. One of the things that we stated about January, they got the first week as an up week with the volatility of the tax deal.
and the resolution that they came up with that no one likes. Okay, so volatility is volatility, and you need to be trained about volatility. Sign up for our volatility training in markets, how to hedge risk.